All right, big day. It's paint day. Final touch up. And that's gonna be pretty much it for this uh, this buck. So as you can see, I put the um, I think it was Zappa Gap or no, it's just this HQ Quick Detailer. Um, I used a pen, a little pen, and uh, put this on the end and went through and put dots just to give this uh, nose some texture. And I've gone through and I filled in some uh, epoxy sculpt. I used some epoxy sculpt around the eyes, filled those in. I had to touch up a few spots here and there, but everything's dried and it should be ready to rock. So I'm gonna start off with some pink special flesh from Wildlife Colors. Then I'm gonna move to the white, then the brown, then the paint's gray. That's what my dad told me to use, so that's what I'm gonna use. I get, luckily he's got an airbrush, so that should make it a little bit less painful of a process. Um, bear with me. I uh, This is only gonna be the second or third deer I've really painted, so any professionals out there, it might not be a good video to watch. But I, I, I'm learning, and it should be pretty good. I don't think I'll do too awful bad. I don't want to mess this deer up, so I'll take my time. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set up the generator, the airbrush, and get to paint. Here it is. This is the little airbrush I'm going to be using attached to a three-quarter horsepower uh, Sears Craftsman air compressor. It's about as old as Methuselah. But it still works, and it's better than hand brushing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, I suppose. Um, so one of the guys that I like to watch on YouTube is uh, Cedar Ridge, I believe, Taxidermy. He has some great videos. It's very insightful. So I kind of like to watch a lot of his videos to see how he touches up the eyes. And he he does a lot of the stuff very similar to what my dad does. That's kind of where I'm getting a lot of this information. Um, go check him out. But you're not going to be able to hear me. So I'm not going to be very, I'm not going to talk very much because I'm going to have this compressor on. So I'll probably just zoom in. And then I'll put up on the screen what color I'm using, maybe uh, a little description of what I'm doing, and go from there. So, should be fun.
All right, some of you guys may be wondering why the eyes, you can see that they're all foggy from where I painted everything. And that doesn't matter. I can go back over with a, um, once it dries off a little bit, I'm going to go back over with an X-Acto knife, scrape that all off of there. And then got some of the JRTS bright eyes, clear up the eyes, make it all look brand new. Shouldn't have to worry about it as long as you don't have anything that's, as long as you got a sharp exacto knife, you should be able to go right over top of that and make it perfect. You won't scratch anything. And then also another thing that people may be wondering is overspray. Now, you're definitely going to have overspray, especially when you're using that, that airbrush. But luckily you just take a wire brush or you could even take probably a, a toothbrush or even this, just a... Uh, something that's a little bit more stout and go through and you can brush that right out of the hair so that deals with the overspray now one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this Mod Podge boom like so I'm going to paint that on this nose um, while I'm letting some other things dry so basically this Mod Podge is just going to make it look like it's wet um, so I'm going to put this kind of around the lip and then I'll put it all over the nose and then just dab it down into the nostrils just ever so slightly. And then I'm also going to go over to the eyes and I'm going to put it kind of up in the tear duct area um, to make it look like it's just like it's alive. Um, so that's pretty much what I'll, all the only spots that I'm really going to have to mess with. I'll take a brush and do that and then... Uh, that's pretty much going to be it. Have a little bit of touch up work, make sure the hair's going right, and then it'll be done. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me just try to even it up a little bit. Just so there's no spots that are thicker than the others. Kind of dab a little bit of that up in the in the hairs right there. Add a little bit of extra. So in these little nose hairs and whiskers, add some drops up in there. Give them some texture. And that'll be good. Time to wait, and then I'll come back, clear up the eyes, and. I'll show you the final results. All right, so he's all done. Go ahead and turn the camera around. Let it cooperate. Okay, so as you can see, this is what I'm talking about with the nose. This spot, there was a hole. I filled it in and did my best to make it. It's kind of hidden. So I'm hoping that, especially if this deer mount goes down, so I'm hoping they can't really see that. But as you can see, I made this much lighter and then got darker as I went up. And then I got down in the nose. It's, it's going to be hard to see with the shadows, but got the pink down in the nose and the nostrils. Took brown, went up underneath there, around everything. And then here's the eyes. I'm very happy with how the eyes turned out. I think it looked pretty good. Um, that's one of the first times. I mean, this is. I really took my time on this one. Let's put it that way. 
Um, you see the Mod Podge is on there. There's a little bit of some stuff up in there, but it's gonna be what's gonna be for now. If I really, if it bothers me too much, I'll I'll fix it. So here's the other eye. Still some Mod Podge waiting to set up right here, but I like how the colors turned out. I think it looks really good. And then let's see if I can get really close. So you might be able to see right here, I put, there's little bumps from where I put Mod Podge on there. Just to make it look like he's got something on his nose. And then uh, forgot the ears. Put a little bit of pink up in there, followed with a touch of white. And then I also like to spray some brown around the edge. Like there's a few spots that are real thin in the ears. And then make it look almost like it's a little dirty. I think it turned out really well. And that's the deer. So he's going to be taken home now and put up on the wall. Couldn't be more proud of. Him. Might be. I might take him to the uh, Virginia Sportsman Show this year, just so I can get him officially scored. Um, just kind of see who else is around. Um, I don't know. It's, I've never gone, but I know I've always seen some awesome deer there. I'm sure there's some awesome people. Maybe I can link up with somebody and we can figure out a place to to hunt. Um, maybe. The, some laceable ground or something, who knows? Might find it, uh, some hunting permission. This is my biggest buck ever. This is my best taxidermy buck ever. And I can't wait to do some more. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get some people that will would like the product and maybe want me to do some stuff for them. Uh, and I'll go through the process on how to get licensed or whatnot for that. If it comes around and I get enough, you know, enough inquiries. And then, uh, I'm hoping that next year I can kill one good enough or somebody I know kills one uh, like my dad or my girlfriend kills one good enough that I can mount for him. I think he turned out really well. Kind of just taking it in. I don't know if I'll be able to beat this one, but I got one that's would score more than this one if he made it. Um, he might be pushing a booner. So... If I can't, maybe I can get on him. I don't know. He's at least five or six years old. So this should be exciting. Uh, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Gus. And as always, got to get going.